Hey everyone, this is uh, part two of the foundation of the gospel, um, where I've been walking through Hebrews chapter six, verse uh, one and two, that kind of talks about what the foundation of the gospel is. And um, as I read through it, it's kind of been a super eye-opening thing, and it's kind of helped me really understand the full picture of the gospel and the Bible as a whole. And so today we're talking about faith in God. And so I'm going to read again Hebrews uh, six, one and two, uh, and three, and it reads. Therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ, let us go on to perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works, and of faith toward God, of the doctrine of baptisms, and of the laying on of hands, and of the resurrection of the dead, and of eternal judgment. And this we will do if God permit. So today we're talking about faith toward God. And really at the beginning of that verse, I mean, it talks about... <laughs> Basically, after we lay this foundation that we're setting right now, uh, the idea is that we move on towards perfection. We move on towards walking in the full maturity that Christ had, to where literally the fullness of God that dwelt within Jesus now will dwell within us, right? That's the goal of our faith. That's the whole thing that we're, we're putting our faith in is because if we believe that we died with Jesus in his death on the cross and he was raised to life again as a brand new creation— so we too can believe that we have died to our sinful nature, right? That whole, you know, we always keep sinning, we're always going to mess up because we're humans. We're moving towards dying completely to that idea and we're coming completely alive to the idea that we're literally a brand new creation. Um, and so that's kind of the whole picture of having faith in God is believing he can do that because if we're honest with ourselves, we can't do that. <laughs> like it's so impossible. And that's why the disciples asked, like, who can be saved? And he said, for man, it's impossible. Uh, but for God, all things are possible. And so um, one way to kind of understand it that's really helped me is looking at the picture of Israel leaving uh, Egypt, going into the wilderness and towards the promised land. And how, honestly, it's such a representation of us today is, you know, Egypt was a place of oppression and slavery, and just as us before Jesus is a place of oppression and slavery to sin, the sinful nature, the nature of we're always going to mess up and screw up and all that. And so God has removed us from that place of Egypt, that place of oppression and sin, and now he's bringing us to the promised land, which you know is the, is the kingdom to come, is walking in the fullness of, of God himself, but honestly... Obviously, there's a journey on that way, which is the wilderness, right? Where we get tested, where we get tried, um, which is, again, the same reflection of even Jesus was once he was baptized, he was immediately sent into the wilderness for a time of, of, of trial uh, and temptation. And as he overcame that, he then got to leave empowered by the Spirit and began to do his ministry, thus walking in <laughs> the full maturity of <laughs> of the Lord. Um and so it's literally such this amazing parallel that's that's been in the Bible all along. Um, but again, it comes down to, do we have faith that God can do it? Do we have faith that we that, that God can help us to overcome every temptation, every trial, until we are so mature in the process that we literally look exactly like Jesus did while he was here on the earth, right? And so that's that's the foundation right, of the very gospel we preach is it's not just say a prayer so you can go to heaven one day. It's literally you're, you're giving up your entire life. You need to be fully devoted until every single part of God is in you and you are fully walking and living that out every single day. And so that's part of the foundation of the gospel. That's we, we went from repentance to faith in God. And so honestly, we're repenting, which means we're turning away from any thinking that wasn't faith in God in the first place. And so I hope this helps you guys to understand a little bit more of the foundation of putting our faith in God when we choose to follow and walk out the gospel. So have a great day. Thanks for listening.